Okay, um, this video is for the purpose of documentation uh, on how to upload the applications to test flight as well as the app store and I'm gonna begin from the very start uh, on how when you are cloning the application what you're gonna need to do after you have cloned the repository first action that you need to do is go to the root of the project basically this location open a terminal over here and you're gonna want to write pod install so this command is basically going to install all of the third-party dependencies because they are not part of your git repository and they are installed every time the the application is cloned um, so that will create a pods folder and this file cc workspace open up this file in xcode and go to this uh, select the project go to signing and capabilities tab here you're gonna select automatically manage signing and your your team as well so the idea bubble limited will not be here available at the start if you're not part of the developer team and if your account is not added to xcode so for that particular purpose first of all what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to system Pref no you're gonna go to xcode preferences and there you're gonna have to add your Apple ID that is part of that account, ID Bubble account where you are part of the team. You're gonna log in with your Apple ID. Once you've done that, your account will show over here. And for example, this one, and your team will be available here as well. Here it is, ID Bubble. Um, once you do that, this will automatically refresh. Your team will be available, select your ID Bubble team and automatic signing is uh, selected. If you have enough permissions, the Xcode will take care of all of the stuff. It will create all of the certificates and provisioning profiles and this tab will look like this without any errors. Once we are over here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the general and you're gonna select the build number. For example, this is the current build number. You're gonna increment this build number to the next build number. Now. To make sure that you have the right build number, you're gonna have to go to App Store Connect. We are working with my course go, go to course go, go to test flight. And in the test flight tab, you're gonna see a list of all the builds that were previously uploaded uh, on the store. For example, this one had the latest build 1.4.2.1. So this is the version, not this. The build um, so we're gonna create a new build that's gonna be 1.2.1.4.2.2 okay um, this is just to make sure because if your build number is lesser than this for example if it's 1.2.1.4.2.0 or 1.2 or anything less than this it will not let you upload the build to test flight and it will give you errors so it has to be greater than your latest build um in that version of course um so we have the version 1.4.2 we have the build number if we will just increment it this is it um now once you have done that make sure that you have the right scheme selected from here so these are the targets this is what you're going to select when you are going through the configuration once you have done all of the configuration you're gonna make sure that the scheme is currently selected basically this the course go and you're gonna make sure that there is no simulator selected and any device is selected if a simulator is selected then your archive option will be disabled um, so you're gonna have to go to any iOS device and your archive option will be enabled you're gonna start archiving and it will start archive process um, so just for for saving time we're going to stop this and we're going to pretend that archive is done after the archive is done this window will automatically open okay and here you will see all of the builds if you go into course go see the last build that i created uh version 1.4.2 1.4.2.1 it's going to show over here so you're going to click on distribute app app store connect and upload um you select you're gonna select this and it will go through all of its processes and you're gonna just press next 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 um until it says upload and you're gonna upload the build to the test flight after the upload process is done 
um, your bill will appear over here. It takes 15 to 20 minutes for a bill to finish processing. It will show up right away, but it, there will be a processing tag next to it. Um, so meanwhile, when it's being processed, uh, it will not be available on test flight. Uh, once the processing is gone, it will take 15 to 20 minutes. The bill will be available on test flight by itself. Um, so that is how you create a build for test flight. Now, um, let's say I want to upload my application to the App Store. You're going to want to go to back to the App Store tab. Um, you can see that this application is already live on store 1.4.1. So no build in version 1.4.1 can be selected for your next release. So what you want to do is you're going to have to create a new version. I don't have the required access, but there will be an option, a plus button over here that's going to be for a new version. And you're going to want to create a new version that is greater than 1.4.1. It can either be 1.4.2, 1.5, 2.0, anything greater than this. Um, so you created a new version. It will show up over here. And once it shows up over here, enter, uh, just select this version. It's going to be the exact same screen. Um, enter what's new in this version. Your required screenshots will be pre-filled. If you want to change them, just change them. In the build section here, you will see the plus button. This one is not showing because this one is already released. Um, you can click on the plus section and it will, it will show you a list of all of the builds that are available in that particular version that you have uploaded to test flight. For example, if it's 1.4.2, you're gonna wanna change it to 1.4.2 or 1.4.3 over here, upload a new build to test flight. It will show up over here and these builds will be available in the App Store tab. You're gonna select that build and then over here, you're gonna see a button called Submit for Review. I don't have enough access. Um, pressing on Submit for Review, it, their application will go into the review phase to the App Store and once it passes the review process, it will be live if we have selected automatically to release this version it will be live automatically once it passes the review process i guess this is it